Fulcrum. Tons of videos about it. Let's talk about it real quick. You have a million different options here if you scour the internet. Some people play way back here, some people use this, some people use there, but it's all gonna get the job done. You just wanna make sure you are doing something with thought and intent, and basically not holding the stick like a freaking billy club. The way I do it allows you to have good rudimental drumming that can transfer to the drum set and vice versa. So a lot of stick control, and I also play a lot of stick control. Anyway, that's a different topic. So, we all have thumbprints, don't steal my identity, but we all have thumbprints. You want that thumbprint to be on like the back third of the stick. If you're using a Vic Firth stick, typically you can use the little American flag on the innovative sticks. Um, sometimes you have this USA about in that spot, but basically if you chop your stick into three thirds, you know, you're gonna wanna put your thumb, the fulcrum there, all right? so. We have, I'm gonna, so for my stick, I'm gonna use the little USA sign, or the USA letters. So I'm gonna put my thumbprint on the stick. Now, my good bud Jesse Mel uh, with Mad Beats, he had a great way of explaining this to his kids. We live in Philly, so he talks about your thumb being a bus going down the tiny little Philly streets. If that bus turned this way, smash. Cars are getting not good. If that bus turns this way, smash. You want the bus to go straight down the street, not crash into any parallel parked cars. And there are a lot of them in this town. So, thumbprint on the stick, make sure the bus is traveling down the street. Then, I use a three-point fulcrum. So I have my thumbprint connected between my index finger and my middle finger, okay? So you have thumbprint on the stick, and then the first-ish knuckle. Now, everybody's hand curves a bit different, so this, you know, you can, you can mess with this part of the, the technique lesson, but for me and most of you, just a good starting point is to make the connecting point on that first knuckle, or just shy of the first knuckle. Some people start, some kids will hold the stick like way up here. What that does is it pushes your index finger in and creates a lot of tension here and lack of control. It also pushes the stick to be more down your hand rather than in your hand, which also makes you lose control of the stick. Okay, so there's your first fulcrum. Now, if you're working on your drumline chops, your teacher is probably gonna tell you to close this, and they're not wrong, uh, but don't squeeze it shut. You want it nice and relaxed shut. But if you're playing drum set or you're just kind of drumming on your own, relax is always better. So don't, don't lose sleep over whether this is open or not. But again, if you're trying to make your snare line, you're probably gonna wanna make sure that's shut. And then, to give myself more control of the stick, I incorporate my middle finger. So instead of doing this, where my middle finger isn't really touching, I do this. So you notice I slid my thumb, I kinda like bent my thumb a little bit more, and I extend my index finger just a bit, so I always have this like, this little tag of my index finger sticking out and then my middle finger wraps around the stick. Again, right around that first finger. So this is what it looks like from up top. And you always want this hand position. Notice where the back of my stick is, coming down like the middle of my palm, okay? And then these two fingers, they just hang out, but the fulcrum is in these three, okay? So thumbprint, bus, first index finger knuckle, Nice and relaxed there. And then your middle finger on its first knuckle to give some extra support. And there you have it. Three point fulcrum. This is how I drum. If you wanna use all front fulcrum, you do you. If you wanna use more of the back, bah, 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 go for it. It all works. But if you wanna, well, if I'm teaching you, this is how I would teach you. So there you go, fulcrum.